Well, before vinyl had its renaissance in the last few years, music lovers had already been going to Twist and Shout Records in Denver for decades. But after 33 years, its owner and founder is ready to turn the table. Paul Epstein has been helping Coloradans find new records for 33 years at this institution of Denver music, Twist and Shout Records. And that's poster number one, Big Brother and the Holding Company from the Family Dog in Denver. So that's a big piece of Denver music history. Huge piece of Denver music history. He originally started it after a moment that felt like it was meant to be when he and his now wife, Jill, were walking up to his favorite record store in Washington Park back in 1988. And I said, you know, if I was ever going to own another record store, it would be like this one we're coming up to. In the window was a sign that said, seized, tax auction, in two weeks. And I was like, wow. And right then, some kid and his father walked up, and the kid said, Mister, are you going to buy this store? And I was like, maybe. And we did. But now, three locations and over three decades later, Paul and Jill have decided it's time to finally let somebody else have a spin. Because of age, a desire to travel, and frankly, the pandemic. Those first three months as we were walking around uh, deserted streets in Denver, we were like, well, we probably should think about retiring at some point. I'm bittersweet about it. It is, and in so many ways, this is my identity. I love this store. But Paul could only sell the store if he knew we had the right person to take the reins, which would be his general manager of nearly three decades, Patrick Brown. I've worked here for 30 years, so I've grown up in this place. You know, I started here when I was 22, so it's it means a lot to me, for sure. This is the marquee from uh, Bruce Springsteen's 29th birthday show. Paul will still keep his ownership of all the memorabilia, though. I mean, come on, you can't give up the boss. But as he gets ready to take his final voyage from vinyl, what he's maybe the fondest of isn't his collection of pieces from these internationally famous artists, but actually how he's been able to help the local ones, letting them sell their records here and perform in the store. It's something that was kind of inherent in the mission of the store, that we want to grow the local scene, help it become more than it is. And I really think we've done that. And it's probably the thing, one of the things I'm most proud of. Danny New, Denver 7. There are some great pieces of music history in that store, and what a great spot. Yeah, and congrats to Paul and Jill. And for the record, he told me the most expensive album he ever sold was $9,000. Wow. It was an Andy Warhol-designed album. So here's to many more of those as they continue their success under their new owner, who's been there, like he said, for 30 years, so it's going to be in good hands.